that, then it's, then it's, it's, it, I, I wonder if it's even possible to explain that. For several reasons. I have never not felt attached to the show because of conventions. So that I have stayed in the universe of that show, and that show has stayed relevant to me without working on it for four years, which, by the way, makes no sense. It's really not relevant to me. I've been on the show for four years. I have nothing to do with the show whatsoever. There's no correlation between my life and that show. And yet, because I do, I mean, I do 10 conventions a year, probably. That's a lot of time spent with the characters, the fans, the actors, all that kind of stuff. So I, it just still felt very close to me. And I've always, from a creative standpoint, loved playing that character. It's just the most unique character I've ever played, bar none. So the chance to go back to that was amazing. My favorite parts, something that was interesting was, typically my work was with Jared and Jensen as, as Gabriel or Trickster. This was all Misha. And I'd really never worked with Misha as an actor. You know, there's a couple of times where I might have one line to him or something, but we never had scenes together. So I found that really, really interesting. And I tell you, when you act with Misha, you sometimes accidentally start to talk like Misha, and next thing you know, you're having a conversation. <laughs> Gabriel, what are you doing? I don't know, what are you doing? <laughs> Why am I talking? I don't know. So you, you fall in that habit, but it was really, it was super cool. And I'll tell you something, I was nervous out of my mind to go back there. Because, well, several reasons. Number one, I hadn't played that character in four years. And though it may seem like that character and I share similarities, it's actually a, it's a character. It's created by the writers, it's something else, it's telling a different part of the story. And I wanted to service it right and seem like the same guy that it was four years ago, which if, you know, go do something for a while, stop, and then start it again in four years. I'm telling you, you have to think about it for a second to be sure you're doing it the same. Um, so there was that. And I also know, you know, when I started Supernatural, I was only, I treated it like a normal job on a normal TV show where I put my work into it, went away, and, and considered it done and moved on from there. That was before the convention circuit started and all the stuff where I realized, holy crap, is this thing studied from 10 ways, you know, from every angle, free strength, free strength, free strength. Like, there's nothing I'm gonna do here that isn't gonna be under scrutiny. Now, you really are not supposed to think about that when shooting the show. I thought about that before shooting the show, which was not a healthy exercise. Um, so, I was just ner I was super nervous. And the first thing we shot was me in the car, answering the phone. And the first angle we shot was my close-up. So the first thing we shot, four years after me not being there, was me in the car, doing that rambling answer the phone bit. With you know, with the, the you know the shot you see, that close-up shot of people, blah, 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 blah. and I was like, oh my god, I'm just a nervous wreck. And I'm friends with the crew. I'm especially good friends with Brad, the camera operator, sometime DP. He was actually DPing that episode. Brad Creaser and Rob the proper, who I'll see them every time I'm up there. We'll go to dinner or something. So they're friends of mine. So I walk on set and they're like, they're like, hey, you're back. And I'm so stiff and nervous, I'm gonna, and you're like, yeah, I am back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Can't wait to have all the, the fun we're going to have. Where do I go? What do I do? And then Robin was like, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm like, nothing. I'm just so thrilled to be back here on set with all of you. Oh, crap. I'm going to shit myself. I, after the fact, she's like, seriously, what was wrong with you? I'm like, I was just nervous. I'm like, what are you nervous for? It's like, you, you know, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why I was nervous. It was super awkward. I felt really, I felt weird being nervous because I know Misha. I know the crew. It was, it was a very strange experience. I remember thinking, huh, I was nervous after that. It was just goofing around and fun, which was great because, you know, when Misha and I got to do the scene in the, in the convenience store, that was just so much fun. Because then I wasn't nervous. And then we were also having, it was us having dialogue and, and, and interaction. And, and all the moments that 
There's some moments I really like that were sort of spontaneous. One, there's a moment where I grab Misha's face and turn it out the like the window. And that's simply because Misha wasn't paying attention. It wasn't like a it wasn't drawn in the script or decided. I was like, I was like hey, a similar line. Like, remember that thing? Misha you was thinking about what's on TV that night or something. So I'm like, um. And the director's like, that's great. That was completely accidental. It was just me trying to wake Misha up. And then, and then the hug. Aww. Aww. <laughs> the hug was, was spontaneous on Misha's part. Because we got to that moment, and it was really designed to be... Like, remember Robbie saw the rough cut, and he goes, like, You guys hugged it out. I didn't see him playing that way. He didn't mean it in a bad way, but he you know, once the blocking became blocking, meaning you know where we're standing and how we're walking around the scene. Once it became that we were standing that close to each other, Misha just felt like it was a, a natural move. And I, and I agreed. I thought, I thought it made for a really nice moment for us. Because it has a little bit of that Han Solo, Princess Leia, I love you, I know moment. You know I mean? <laughs> it has that, it has that energy. It has, you know, he's like, thank you. And it has the shot. And so that I think that felt like when you're reading it, it was going to be like you and me this distance, or not being on this far, but, far. but the hug sort of changed the dynamic of it all. I was like, oh my gosh, look at that! Wow, but it turned out cool. So did I answer? Yes. So you know, those are my favorite things. Being back there, it was just a great experience. I was thrilled to be back, and I hope it happens again. Yeah. Thank you. There were people there. They're gone. Am I out of time? Is that yeah, we don't have time. Oh crap. Alright, well listen, hey, I'll be back on stage. If, if I didn't answer your question, I'm around or I'll be back up here tomorrow and come back and we'll do this again. Guys, yeah. Thank you for having me. So we'll have together for the little. He's just my tingler. Thank you for the ride. I'll see you out there. Last battle of the morning, Bajra. We got to see you again. And now we have the